Hey, Charlie. <laughs> hey, Charlie. What's up, guys? I saw the new version of Charlie's Angels, and it's a movie. It stars Kristen Stewart, Patrick Stewart. It's directed by Elizabeth Banks. It's got a few other people in there. There's some cameos. It's a little fun. And basically the plot, if you've seen any Charlie's Angels TV episode or you saw the McG versions, it's all the same. It's spy stuff, but through the filter of a woman. So a lot of the times, you know, like Mission Impossible and 007, James Bond and all these other, I Spy and all these other spy movies, they all have these male centric ideas of what a spy is like. So Charlie's Angels has always flipped that on its head. You know, it's it's fun. It's a fun movie. It's not like, it's a very routine paint by numbers movie, but at the same time, seeing Kristen Stewart play against type is hilarious because she's always like serious and brooding in most of her movies, or she's playing like, you know, a character is kind of mysterious. This, she's not aloof at all. She's very much, you know, the, the charismatic person on the Charlie's Angels team. There's this Rubik's Cube that somehow can bring energy to an entire building. But also there's a back door and if you hack into it, it turns into an EMP device. Some bad people get, their, get a hold of these things and then it's up to the Charlie's Angels to stop it. So this is actually canon with the McG movies. So the Charlie's Angels, original TV show, the McG movies, and now this. They're all canon, and what has happened is Patrick Stewart's character has opened up Charlie's Angels to be an international thing. So it's in Paris, and it's in London, it's in China, it's in uh, Australia, it's in all these places across the world. Of course, one of the villains is just like a silent type. You, If it's a Charlie's Angels movie, you have to have the silent guy that doesn't say anything. Crispin Glover started it, and now we have to always have it. I wish Crispin Glover was in the movie, honestly. His character was the best part of the McG movies, it's in my opinion. Movie. As with any spy movie, other than Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, which has like no action. This has car chase scenes, it has motorcycles, it has gun shooting, it has all the things that you like about spy movies. You're hacking into stuff, you're just typing on the keyboards and you don't know what's going on, but they're just pushing buttons. It's it's fun, it's fun, it's not great. If you don't like Charlie's Angel movies, you're not gonna like this, but if you love Charlie's Angels, if you're a kid watching the reruns of Charlie's Angels, boom, go watch this movie. If you like the McG movies, it's not as over the top crazy as those ones. It doesn't have any butt rock. If you love the over top version of Charlie's Angels, this is not that but it is over top and corny in some ways. But yeah, there's a joke about how cinephiles aren't just all straight white males. And that's funny because it's true. It's like, I sit here, we sit here and like talk about movies, but we have to realize there's other people that like movies and we can't always make the same movie for the same white dudes that are talking about it. Me, Zach, Maybe. JD. <laughs> it pokes fun at that sort of stuff with older spy movies or but at the same time it it's like an homage to the old spy movies and elizabeth banks does a really good job as the director you know everything is easy to see you understand the action scenes there's no shaky cam she really gets you know what's going on and i liked her i'd like her to i'd like there to be a sequel because i think there's a lot of things here that could be improved upon this is a good step the villains in this movie are great the twist villain is even better. I mean, if you've seen the trailers, you could probably figure out who it is. If I had to rate it on a Charlie's Angels pose, so you know, you got this one, and you got that one, and you have the other one, I would probably, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably, I'd probably put it on like, like, you know, like, like that, like, like you kind of nailed it, but you have to redo the photo. That's what it's like. It's like, okay, yeah, it was a good jumping photo, but you know, your leg looks kind of weird in that one. One eye's half closed and you have to just like, you're just like, mm, we gotta do it again, just, just because. And that's why I want a sequel. See, it all comes back around. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is not, I'm not just rambling into <laughs> a camera. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like, like, you know, like, like that, like, 